is the night before my surgery, I thought it'd be kind of beneficial for anybody that's experiencing the same thing to have um, just a little video for what you can expect. Looks like we're all going to a funeral dressed in black. About six months ago, I started having these symptoms where I was losing my balance more often. I was tripping on things. I started getting tremors. My uh, I had a left foot drop where it was kind of dragging. And then um, I started getting muscle spasms like all over my body. And they were constant, just firing all the time. There's my coach right here. How am I doing, coach? You're doing great. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. What like really set me off was I was, I was working out a lot, like every single day. I was lifting, I was doing cardio, and all of a sudden I couldn't, I could like barely do one push up. One push up. And I was doing like a hundred a day. It was really baffling. Yeah. It's about 6.45, way to wait downstairs. I think we're a little early. And then uh, we got back here to the pre-op place. I don't know what time it is. 7.30. 7.30 we got back here. It's scheduled for 9.30, but I think they're running a little late, so. I slipped one time and my wife's like, you gotta go to the doctor. So I went to the doctor and I was super nervous because I thought I had early onset Parkinson's. Like I had all of the symptoms. And so I go to the doctor and she does a couple of strength tests on me. And she's like, I don't think it's Parkinson's, but I'm going to send you to the, uh, to a neurologist. And so I go to a neurologist and my wife comes with me and we go in there and start telling her about the stuff that's going on with me. And she does the same exact test that the other doctor did. And she's like, I don't think it's Parkinson's. And she watch, watches me walk and notices my foot drop. She's like, ah, oh, it's not like really bad. And I'm like, okay. And then um, she tries to tell me that I'm dehydrated. And so my wife <laughs> steps in at this point and she's like, he's not dehydrated. Like, listen to the, his, sim his symptoms. And so she wanted me to have further tests my wife did the doctor leaves the room and we look at each other and we're like dehydrated like what is she talking about she comes back in and she's like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna order the mris but i don't think it's gonna find anything and i'm just doing it because i don't want to get sued what got me hooked up right here with some fluids got this cool thing right here it's got hot air in it kind of like me make sure you bring somebody with you that's going to advocate for your health and is not gonna just listen to something like you're dehydrated because clearly I was not dehydrated I had a lot of symptoms I go to um, get my MRIs and I had one with and without contrast on my head my neck and my lumbar they they're like we don't usually see the word severe when it comes to mris like usually they come back with you know this or that but yours say severe 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 and luckily nothing wrong with my head it's not parkinson's um but physical therapy was not going to fix this i had to go to a, a surgeon so i make an appointment with my surgeon and um I go in to see him and he starts explaining um, what he's gonna do, what the procedure is. I, I was with him maybe five, 10 minutes max. Um, schedule the, the, um, the surgery and today is the eve of the surgery. Gonna hang out here, watch some TV. In the meantime, check this out. Oh, I have no vitals. Not looking good. <laughs> the moral of the story is if you guys start seeing symptoms, go see a doctor. Tell them what's going on. Do not take your uh, dehydrated as an answer. 
Okay. I think this is kind of the easy part because I'm going to sleep through this. You know what I mean? So what's going to happen is C4, 5, 6, and 7, they're going to get fused. But before they do that, they're going to go in and clean it out, put some spacers in there, and then fuse them together. So I'm not thrilled about that. I am nervous about the procedure. I've never had any kind of major surgery before. There's so many things you have to do to get ready for surgery. I have to take a shower and wash with this special stuff and I had to go get non-slip shoes and a button-up shirt because the, this thing that they're doing is going to happen right here in my neck. Like they're going to come through the front and get to my spine in the back. It's crazy. Yeah, like I hope I'm going to be okay because watching this video, I don't know if I recommend it or not, but I wanted to know what was going to happen and I was looking for some about the recovery also. So pretty young to be having this, this procedure, but maybe that's a good thing, right? I don't know where you're at, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. I'm hoping that my journey through this thing will help somebody out there. And if it does, let me know. Okay. All right. I, um, I made it, you guys. I'm still alive. So I gotta wear this thing for a while. Ooh, can you see my scar? So just like I said, like, they wheeled me into the operating room, <laughs> said a couple of things, and then I woke up. Piece of cake. Now the hard part, right? My pain right now is probably about a, I don't know, three maybe? Just mild discomfort and really more from wearing this thing than anything else but on the bright side when they weighed me on the way in looked pretty good